Okay, so this is gonna have to be a quick stream because I don't have that much time today. So hopefully we can get it done in about half an hour. Let's see, what exactly was the deal? So slack. Oh. Mm, back hurts today. Where were we? Marisol. See, that was the deal. Let's see. Um, where is the deal actually? Okay. So this is the deal. She got me Cognity. Let me zoom that in. She got me where... This, this was the deal. She got me Cognity before February, so now I have to set up this Slack audio bot for her. Let's see. What does the Slack audio bot need from us to work? Adding audio feedback to Slack. I think this is the same link as I'm on. Ah, perfect. Audio bot is an audio feedback bot for Slack. Slack audio bot is written in Node.js and plays mp3 files from its slash sound directory based on cues from Slack users. Audio bot now also features text to speech for Mac and Windows. Why is audio bot? Okay, why? I like that. Audio feedback seems like a great way to liven up, liven up, liven up, liven up something in the office, but can also be used to provide real time feedback around events in Slack. How to audio bot? Grab the repo and run npm install. It installs it locally. Add a bot integration in Slack. Add your bot's API key to config.js. Run node audio bot from the command line. Invite your brand new bot into the channels you'd like to watch. All right, so this is locally. I can try that locally, but I would need to run this on a server somewhere so that we don't have to keep doing it manually. Let's see then. Or, hmm, maybe I can just set it up on a, on a computer at the office. Let's try it out locally and we'll see how it works. So I'm going to go to the GitHub. And we're going to clone this locally. So we're not going to be doing that much building today because I just want to see how this thing works. And I have to get to do some actual real work. And we're going to do more interesting live coding tomorrow. So git clone this thing. That, that went well. Slack audio bot. Let's see, what do we do? add a bot integration in Slack. So how do I do that? Hmm. I need to log into the other workspace, to the, the app workspace. Yeah, okay, sign in. Nope. No, that's the wrong one. Uh, there we go. Sign in. Wonderful. Username for the bot. Hmm. What should we call this bot? It's going to be mostly used for shout outs and stuff like that. We used to have Quentin, which was our like guard dog that we had at the office, but he left, uh, went, got another security job at a different startup, I think in Denmark, where dog worked at, worked at the silicon. What? Amsterdam. Netherlands? Yes. Well, you know, Denmark, Netherlands, same thing. Um, I'm about as good at geography as the average American, I think. Maybe a little bit better? No. Yes. Uh, so what should be the username? Let's see. Oh, that actually seems cool. Yuppie. Cool. So that's going to be the name for the bot. Um, add bot integration. You already have a channel or user with that name. Okay. Uh, connect to Slack is yup e. So that's our API token, and we are going to need an image or choose an emoji. Sound. Whoop. 
loud sound. Perfect. Full name Yuppie, what this bot does. Scream at the whole office. Cool. Uh, I don't know what that's about. Transfer global, wrong. So that's our ID. So if I open Slack bot, Slack audio bot here, Slack audio bot. Uh, we go to config JS config token. I'm gonna paste that thing. Okay. So that's that. Do not publish bot user tokens in public code repositories. So hopefully nobody is going to go and retype this token from the from the from the stream. Uh, where did the instructions go? Okay, I lost the instructions. Let's click that again. Cool. Run node audio bot from the command line. Invite your into the channels you'd like to watch. So we say node audio bot js. Cannot find module Slack client. Hey demon92, where have you been? npm install. Did you graduate yet? Oh right. NPM install is fucked up. Let's try yarn. Something is wrong with my local node gip, whatever that is. Nice. Congrats on congrats on um, graduating. What are you up to these days? So uh, node audio bot JS. Uh, yes, allow access. Sweet. Um, oh, via Patreon, that means you haven't gotten it yet because I think that integration stopped working at some point and I never quite fixed it. Okay, so now if I say direct messages and I go talk to Yuppie, how does Yuppie work? Let's say play bell. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Nice. I'm happy you got the email. Hey, Carlos, I can't talk back on the Facebook chat, but so you're just going to have to listen to me. Okay, so it looks like this integration is actually pretty easy. Uh, yeah, I'm multi streaming to, let's see, what am I multi streaming to? I'm on Periscope, YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. So wherever people are, they can watch me. Um, so that was easy. Let's see. Say hello there, live streamers. How are you? No. Yep. Say hello there, live streamers. How you be? Hello there, live streamers. How you be? Well, that didn't work very well, but it's there. So I think, hmm, what's going to be the easiest way to get this working in a, um, so I was think I was thinking of setting this up on like, Hmm. Well, this turned out to be m much easier than I thought it would be. So we are done in like 10 minutes. That's great. So we have all of the sounds and player.exe. How does it actually work? Let's see. So one thing I, I want to like make this work so that we don't have to be running it or like so it's not relying on my computer hey Carlos I don't want it to rely on my computer and I think it's going to need to have a connection to an actual computer to work so it's not like something I can deploy on a Lambda or on Heroku or something like that which is kind of a problem 
yeah i guess it's important to get easy wins wins so i guess tomorrow when i'm at the office i'm gonna have to get us a computer hook it up to the sauna speakers and that's gonna be that um so let's let's just walk let's walk through the code and see how it works because i think this is the best we can get because hmm i wonder if sonos have let's see so we have sonos speakers at the office let's see if i can remotely connect to those without having a, comp a physical computer in the office sonos stream from internet or let's see sonos stream from server see a lyric balloon you keep changing your nicknames i think media servers that work with sonos android music player to connect to blah Beam media server and upn plex for sonos unlocks your music libraries blah let's see media servers that work with sonos um Mm-hmm. That doesn't How do how would I stream a sound from Okay. Play on Sonos from Cloud. Play music store on cloud storage. Access music from cloud hosted server. MS Office 365 Cloud to Sonos, Cloud Storage Solution, Streaming Music from Cloud Storage. Let's see. So, um, no native support in the Sonos app for cloud services. Install Bubble UPN app on your Android phone. It supports cloud services. Meh. Let's see. Products. Oh, Sonos API. Sonos API. Let's see if that exists. API Sonos Labs. Developer.sonos. So that could be cool. If we could, if we could hook up our audio bot to some sort of API for Sonos, that would work without having a physical machine in the office, right? In theory. Music API is an open web service specification that defines methods to browse and play content from a music service to the Sonos audio platform. Use the resources below to create, test, and submit your service to Sonos. Okay. Sonos Music API getting started. Troubleshooting your SMAPI implementation. Frequently asked questions. Sequence diagrams. That's a multiple account technical review. What audio sample rate? Blah. Okay. Getting started. Here we go. So we have a typical system. Wireless router talks to music service server. And then shit happens on the thing. Music API is designed to allow Sonos to communicate with your music service. It is a platform independent, language independent web services API built on SOAP. Uh, I hate soap. To ensure that your music service delivers a consistently high quality user experience, Sonos requires that you follow our registration and validation process. Once your music service has been launched and becomes publicly visible to anyone with a Sonos system with, within the geographic areas you support. Okay. Types of supported content. Audio formats. HTTP live streaming. HLS is a streaming protocol developed by Apple. It enables web servers to stream audio and video over HTTP. HLS gives servers the ability to switch streams as network bandwidth changes. Interesting. So that could be that could be a good way to go. Mm hmm. Oh, they do not support MP3. Everything we have is MP3, right? MP3 and VAV. Okay. Node Sonos. Let's see if that exists. Node Sonos. Sonos Media Player Interface Client. Wonderful. Gives you the power to control all your Sonos devices from your own apps in JavaScript. 
Um, I, Ein Biscan asks if I use Python for anything more than the email templates. And honestly, I use Python for mostly for quick throwaway scripting. So when I'm doing some like data processing or trying to do something quick that I don't want to do manually, I usually do Python because it's less it's usually quicker and less code to write than doing it with JavaScript okay so this could be great okay Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm. This actually looks like more than I can do right now because I do have to go do some more work. Discover your device on the network and control the playback and queue with instant events announcing change. So automatically discover devices on the network, which means that we would still need a machine that runs on the network, uh, which is not great. Hmm. And I also don't have any Sonos at home. So this is going to be hard to test. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop live coding right now, go do some real work and try to get a Sonos device at home so that I can test this and then set it up for the office. Uh, I promise this would be working tomorrow and it will be because we're gonna get a computer, hook it up to Sonos and just set it up. And then later I'm gonna make it more reliable with Node Sonos. So I'm sorry that this turned out into a bit of a tease, this live stream did, but I'm probably gonna be doing more of I'm gonna be doing more live streaming tomorrow evening um, but for now this is gonna be it this was an easy win we got we got it working so let's see here if I I can look at which sounds we have and I can play any of them so let's see play cotton I Joe pause <laughs> Uh, I can't stop it. Help. Ah, how do I make it stop? Okay, so I can't stop. There's no way to stop the music once you start it, but this is going to be a great first MVP for the office. We're going to try it out, see how it works, and then if people like it, I'm going to do a proper integration with Sonos and maybe try to figure out if I can run it in the cloud somewhere and not even have a physical machine in the office that keeps running this. So thanks anyone who tuned in. I'm sorry this wasn't longer, but hopefully we can continue on this tomorrow or the day after or something like that. So see ya guys. That was fun.